Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video, we are going to create this Black Panther logo animation inside of After Effects with the help of Trap Code Particular. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. As always, here we are in Adobe After Effects. I'm gonna create this new composition and as always I'm gonna call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate I'm gonna choose 30 and duration is also 30 seconds and background color I'll choose white color and I'll simply hit ok then I'll choose my grid and guide option and then I'll hit titles affection to get this kind of grid then in my project window I'll simply double click and I'll select my limb logo I have this logo over here you can easily get this logo from Google I'll choose this one and simply hit import and I'll drag and drop in my main animation com like that then I'm gonna select my ellipse tool and I don't want any fill over here so I'll delete this fill for now and with the help of shift I'll create one ellipse like that then press ctrl alt home to align the anchor point of this ellipse to the center then go to the align tab align it horizontally first and then align it vertically and stroke width initially i'll choose 20 select this tag i mean shape layer in the search bar i'll type s t r o k e which means stroke so i'll get this stroke width property over here and i'll create one keyframe then select this layer press s for scaling option and then create one keyframe over here also now select this layer hit u so we can see both the keyframes and initially i'll make the scale 0 and uh, up to 2 seconds i'll increase the scale like that and i'll create one keyframe on the stroke width over here and at this point initially i'll make it 40 so if i see my animation right now we will get something like this now i'll select this logo png I'll hit F4 to switch between these two options like F4 and then in track match section as you can see we have none over here so I'll choose alpha mat and if you can see we'll get this kind of reveals of this logo now hit U again hit ctrl A to select both the layers and hit ctrl D to duplicate it now we have this one and this one now select this two press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and let's call it as one and make sure that you are choosing move all attributes into the new composition and then hit ok then select this second and third layer press ctrl shift c to pre-compose it and let's type two and again move all attributes into the new composition and hit ok now double click on this first one as you can see this is our first layer and double click on this one so it will reveal this one now in second one i'll select the shape layer and in this fill section i'll choose any color i want and hit ok now if i hit play as you can see i'll get this kind of logo logo reveal in this second composition and in first composition it's still the reveal with the help of this stroke then i'll go to my main animation i'll delete this render queue over here we don't need that and i'll delete this two also we don't need that anymore and i'll hide this second one now we have to deal with this one so i'll hit f4 again to switch between these two options hit ctrl a to select all of them and let's convert that layers into 3d now press ctrl y to create a solid composition i mean solid and then we will call this layer as particular and hit ok as you can see we are getting this white solid now go to the effect and presets panel and search for particular and double click on it to apply this as you can see whenever you apply you will get this kind of particle emissions so now first thing we will do we will go to the emitter and emitter type instead of point i'll choose layer like that and then we will get this layer emitter option and in this layer emitter we need to choose our emission layer so layer over here as you can see we have none instead of that we will choose this one so as you can see one light was created 
and if i hit enter as you can see we are not getting anything over here let's get rid of it right now i'm gonna hide this first one i'll select this particular layer and as you can see over here we have one option called particle per seconds and we will increase the zeros of this and now if i hit space as you can see we are getting this kind of particle emissions now what we need to do over here we have to change some settings velocity i'll make 50 and emitter size i'll make zero and now if i hit play we will get something like that so emitter settings are done now we will go to the our particle settings life i'll choose three seconds only i don't want any feathers but instead of that what we can do let's make it 10 only so it's not gonna much more and oh size over life we will go to the presets and we will choose this one so if i hit space now as you can see we'll get this disintegration as it goes like that let's make this life two seconds maybe yep now we will go to the size i'll make it six or let's say seven and size random i'll make it 100 let's see how does it looks it looks good to me now what we need to do we'll go to the we don't need to adjust many more settings in particle now we will go to aux system and we will enable our aux and we will tap continuously whenever we are enabled as you can see if you zoom you will get this kind of line extra particles over here so aux which means uh, each of this particle will emit another particles as you can see so now we have to change some aux settings also here over here i'll size we will choose three like that or let's say four opacity let's make it hundred and what we need to do particles per second let's make it 30 and over here you will get this option called size over life then go over here again we will choose this options like that and in life we will make it one or let's say three seconds maybe like that and color from mem i'll make it 100 now if i see my animation we will get something like this now instead of full i'll choose third like that now all the settings are also ready now we'll go to the physics and instead of air i'll choose fluid now if i hit play as you can see we are getting some weird animations but we will adjust it now inside the fluid one we need to do we need to we have one option called random swell over here we will choose xyz individual and i'll go to the start random swell x i'll make it 100 also this y 100 and also this z 100 and now if i hit play as you can see we will get something like that now if you increase the buoyancy to 10 let's say let's see how does it looks it will look something like that so if i hit play now as you can see we are getting something like this now we will again go to our particle section and if you want then you can increase decrease the lifespan or something if i choose 1.5 and then i hit play as you can see you get something like that and then we will go to the aux setting again and over here 
life second let's say 2 and particle per second let's say 60 like that now we will enable our this second layer and we will hit page down button two times and we will move this thing over here so if i hit play now we will get something like that over here now if you want to make it a little bit cooler what you can do simply go to the emitter and just increase one zero in this particle per second then we will get this option simply hit ok and go to the start and again press so as you can see we will get some more particles like that it will take a little bit time to render in your viewport but the final output will look awesome like that and if you think this box particles are little bit too much then simply go to the aux system and over here you can decrease the size of this aux particles like that so yep this is our final animation of this logo it will take a little bit time to render because our particles are very much but the final output will look cooler and to make this more cooler simply right click create one adjustment layer and simply go to the effect and presets and search for glow effect and simply double click glow radius i'll choose 50 glow threshold i'll choose 100 or let's say 90 or even less like that let's make it 70 so we'll get this kind of animations like that so yep this is our final animation So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then stay tuned.